we're going to test out whether or not the CAS LP1000 and scale is capable of displaying the uh, characters of item in Chinese. What I have opened here is LP works and my scale is already connected to the computer. Go here and I'm gonna go ahead and hit save and I hit connect. And this is a good connection. And so I'm gonna go ahead and hit upload my items from the scale that I currently have. All right, so there's that. I'm gonna grab this item here. And so it's not possible to do it through the app because this is what the, uh, the character looks like, but it's not coming in this way. So we're gonna try to trick it. Let's go ahead and export this into Excel. Let's just put today's data on it. Here's my Excel spreadsheet uh, with the same data. And so I'm just gonna paste it here. And you can see that it was possible to paste it here. Um, so let's just leave it here. And I'm gonna go ahead and save this file. And I'm gonna go ahead and close it. I'm going to do data import and grab this file that I've just saved with the Chinese character and have that thing go in like that. So it's still this place with the question marks, but um, let's go ahead and throw that into the scale and see if it makes a difference. I'm gonna go ahead and reset full count and hit start. I'm actually interested to know if, if the foreign character, Chinese character in that case uh, can be utilized. Because I guess if the Chinese can be, then other characters can be as well. All right, so one, two, three. All right. The answer is no.